Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. We're at the Campaign for Wool in New York City at Bryant Park, and I'm here with Tom Vacchione, who's with Gensler, New York. Tom, how you doing? I'm doing very well, Kemp. Thank you. Well, you're the one that deserves the thank you and the credit. You're the key person that was involved in bringing this event. They were going to have it in New York, but you're the one that kind of hooked them up with Bryant Park and the people there, and you've kind of driven the whole design of this. Uh, how did you initially get involved with the Campaign for Wool? Well, about two years ago, I was tapped on the shoulder by people involved with the initiative in London, and I have done work in London. I was a a member of the British uh, British Interior Design Association, and I have relationships there, so people knew me. And the initiative was to really think about wool as as part of the design community versus the fashion community, because what His Royal Highness recognized was actually our industry sector, architecture, interior design, furniture, really consumes most of the product. Fashion has a lot of it, but not nearly what we consume in our building. So if you have a million square foot office building in New York, you have a million square feet of carpet. If you have 3,000 employees there, you have 3,000 chairs. That's product, and that's big impact. So they tapped me on the shoulder, being from New York, being part of Genzo, the world's largest design firm, to really start to think about getting involved and understanding the sustainability and the value behind such an amazing resource as wool. You may not even know this. I just found this out today. But if you just talk about the consumption of wool, Roughly 60% of it ends up in floor covering, and a lot of that, I think 90% of it, is in the commercial sector of the market. Correct, Kemp. We're a huge consumer of the product, and we want to be stewards of it as well. And over the years, so many new man-made products have come out there, and that's fine. I mean, diversity in the marketplace is always necessary. But we want the next generation of design talent to recognize some of the traditional values behind this resource that sometimes we need to embrace the low-tech and also the high-tech, but there's a lot of value in the low-tech. So this campaign is building awareness in the design community about something that's been around for a long time, but sort of has a new interest. You you talk about the low-tech, but since I know Gensler very well, you guys are very much into sustainability, and you've got to love the sustainability message behind wool, don't you? That's right on. I mean, we we always have to be stewards of the environment, and I think the scale that we work at, the, the huge real estate portfolios, the airports we build, the cities that we plan, we are environmentally conscious and it's embedded in all of our design thinking, but re-recognizing the importance of wool, I think, for me, was a, was a new awareness. It was really new for me. I hadn't even thought about the simplicity behind it. Well, I'm looking at these signs here where it's talking about what's going on today, and I see Gensler's name at the bottom. You're getting a lot of credit for bringing this here, which is due. Let me just ask you, why have this event right here in Bryant Park? Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a native New Yorker, and I love Bryant Park. And Bryant Park it's behind the library, and it's always been a very important place for New Yorkers. It's, we call it New York's living room. And over the last 20 years, Bryant Park has really reinvented itself through a public-private partnerships. It's a very interesting business model. It's public land, but it's run by a private organization. And it's become really sort of a voice in the middle of New York for ideas, for programming. It does 600 programs a year. It has 6 million visitors that come to it a year. And it really is New York's living room. And what I was thinking when I was at High Grove six months ago and I was talking to a few stakeholders involved with the campaign is if you're going to launch something in New York, first of all, you have to do it big and you have to do it in the middle of New York. And Bryant Park is exactly that. It's New York's living room in the middle of office towers, in the middle of a huge working population. 250,000 commuters come up from the subways every day at this location. So this is really a place where it's all about programming and new ideas. Now that you've gotten into this and you've learned a little bit more of the story, similar to my story about learning that these sheep have to be sheared once a year for their own health. There's a lot to this story that's very interesting. And as far as wool being, I know you knew about the flammability thing, but did you know about the hyperallergenic and some of the other properties of this fiber that make it such a great building block? You know, I have been learning over the course of the two years all about wool's wool's attributes. And one of the things that I really enjoy, I'm on a number of boards, New York City Landmark, Center for Urban Futures, and what I enjoy about being a participant is all that I get to learn. I don't come on board as an expert necessarily, but when you join a community that has experts, you learn from that. And this has been a great learning curve for me personally. Tom, thanks for spending time with us again. Been talking to Tom Vacchione, who is the design director at Gensler in New York, who's responsible for bringing this to Bryant Park here at the Campaign for Wool event in New York. And you've been listening to Kemp and FloorDaily.net.